you are now watching another Geek Out Gaijin unboxing, this time from the Sega UFO Price Spy X Family Anya and Bam Forger figure. Waku waku! Well, welcome back, and we finally got our hands on the Spy X Family premium figure of Anya Forger and Ban Forger. And ever since I first saw Band, I, I really wanted to have a figure of Band, but having Anya and Band on Bond on the same figure is just two times the happiness. And if you have seen that particular episode now, that is where this is from. So let's open it up. Okay, so uh, since this is a UFO catcher price, they have always scotch tapes on the top. And no UFO catcher price, as far as I know, has any window on their packaging. So um, one of the things that I love about UFO catcher prices is that they are they around 90% of what the box art is is exactly what we are gonna get and I say 90% of the time because there are a couple of times where the figure did not deliver and one of those was the uh, suicide squad Hardy anyway and there we go so we could see Anya at top so here we go let's open up on the first let's check out her paint her portrait let's check out all the details on this figure okay so here is Anya and there's her portrait so if you have been collecting Anya figures you could clearly see that this particular portrait here of Anya is very very specific to this particular figure so you could see that it's there is quite a very vibrant gold paint here that they have used and i like what the i like what they did with the gold since sometimes they would paint it with um what we refer to as puke gold the, the ones that do not really really look nice but it this one really really accents her uniform so those are her shoes so a little bit of gold paint on there i like it really really nice and I love that they went with a set for this. Okay, let's set Anya aside for now. And let's get Bond. So here's the body of Bond. Here's his tail. So lastly, we got a white base. And I'm, I'm not sure how I feel about the plain white base. So that's all there is for its packaging so let's open up the base first before we get to bond so plain white base so rice okay sega okay we finally got bond Dude, this cute. Damn, I love Bond. <laughs> okay. Such a chunky boy. Who's the chunky boy? Okay, so the base would insert here and here. Look at the chunky boy. <laughs> I really, really love Bond. Bond order. Okay, so let's get his tail. Okay, 
Okay, here's his tail. So time to assemble. Tail goes here. A little bit hard to place. Okay, there we go. And that's it. And looking at its white base, I, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of it, but the alternative is the regular black base that they always put on their UFO price figures, but there's nothing, nothing much to complain here. And the figure, the Anya figure itself does not have any noticeable seam lines on there. Except that that one on her, on the top of her head, which is very normal. But if you look at her this way, it doesn't really, it it's not really that noticeable. And uh, as for Bond, I don't think there's any real issues on him except the seam line on his tail. So overall. I would highly, highly, highly recommend this particular figure for any Spy X Family fans out there, any Anya fans out there, and definitely would highly recommend this for any Band Forger fans out there. If I was going to rate this, oh, okay, very, very biased rating, 5 out of 5, but anyway, that's it for this unboxing, guys. Hope to see you on the next video. Also. Please do hit that like button, consider subscribing, and this geek is out of here.